presenting speech number three from the entertaining speaker manual. The time is five to seven minutes. The title is, So, You Want to Be a Stormtrooper? <laughs> and the objectives are, got to laugh already. <laughs> Prepare a humorous speech drawn from experience. Secondly, strengthen it with personalized material from other sources. And third, deliver it in a way that makes the humor effective. And I'm sorry, I didn't catch the link in this. Five to seven. Five to seven. I get one of the lights off just to get the slides. I don't know. I'm not sure the other one. Hello, Toastmasters. Following speech is rated N for nerdy. <laughs> Some of you non nerds may not grasp some of the con best concepts presented in the speech because you may not understand the gravity and importance of George Lucas's masterwork, Star Wars. <laughs> So you want to be a stormtrooper? Here's a few simple reasons to help you learn how you can assist the Emperor to defeat the rebel scum and help him maintain his ironclad grip on the universe. But why stormtroopery? <laughs> why on earth would you want to join the ranks of millions of faceless minions in the Emperor's service? Well, first of all, you can, become, you can become versed in the ways of the dark side. You never have to worry about job security again. In these trying times, people getting laid off left and right, you don't have to worry. Your job is secure, and I'll show you why. You can throw around your influence like you're actually important. One of the high-ranking points on Maslow's hierarchy of needs is to feel important. Fulfill that need through stormtroopery. Learn to fire a weapon. And endless travel to exotic locales around the universe. I'm going to talk about each of these things point by point in order to show you what a great career path choosing to be a stormtrooper is. First, the dark side. We're all familiar with some of our heroes, Darth Tyrannus, Darth Maul, and of course, Lord Vader. As a stormtrooper, you'll get to work closely with our current Sith apprentice, Lord Vader. One day you might pick up some of the small, subtle tricks and techniques that he uses, such as choking from across the room. <laughs> I know I could use that sometimes. <laughs> Job security. You can literally never be fired as a stormtrooper. You can never lose your job. There is a list of grievous acts you can actually commit and still keep your job as a stormtrooper. For example, never hitting your target. <laughs> totally okay. Another thing you can also do, never hitting your target. Again, we're not here to judge. Just fire in the general direction and it'll be all right. And of course, third, never hitting your target. Some of the mistakes you feel free to make, letting any and all rebels come narrowly escape. It's okay. We're friends. Something else you can do? Say, move along. When I mean, you really should arrest the old man and the droids that you are looking for. My friend Joe, this is from his personal experience. He actually was promoted to captain shortly after that. <laughs> and of course, allowing the multi bajillion dollar Death Star to be destroyed. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Never lose 
lose your job again. <laughs> Throw around your importance because, let's face it, you're all important. And you know what throwing around your importance means? It means you have carte blanche to bully and push people around at will. Free food, free drinks, and access to all the best clubs. <laughs> As a stormtrooper, you can force your way into any building. You never have to pay a tab. Learn to fire a weapon. Why would we want to learn to fire a weapon? Well, the answer is simple. Blow stuff up! Now, in order to do this, you must understand one thing. You should never hit another living thing because the blasters don't really explode living creatures, so aim for walls and pipes, that sort of thing, to just really blow stuff up. Cause massive destruction any location you're at. Just remember, should you hit a living thing, you may be demoted. Remember, you won't lose your job. Some of those privileges and moving up in the ranks is not going to happen for you. And finally, Travel the galaxy. We've all heard and said that travel is right up there on our priorities. Why not start now? Why, you could find yourself in the shivering cold of Hawk! Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> if cold and ice and freezing temperatures <clears throat> aren't your thing, why not make a leap over to Tatooine! <laughs> Entire planet of the desert. So the sand's not your thing? Well, jump on over to Geonosis with its lava and volcanoes and death around every corner. If the heat's not your thing, there's always Camino, the water planet with deadly sea demons. <laughs> but never mind that now. Join today! You can get in on the ground floor of the Emperor's drive to rule the universe! And one day you may become a captain, a TIE fighter pilot, an admiral, or even a Sith Lord Apprentice. Mm -hmm. Of course, you will have to battle Lord Vader, but you only move as high as your ambitions, I always say. Mm -hmm. So good luck, and may the dark side of the Force be with you.